We are gonna be up close and personal on this video. I am so close to the camera. Welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal and this is Crystal's Copia and here we live a life of abundance. And today we are taking a peek inside my bag. Oh yes, a what's in my bag video. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how I organize my bag because if this is your first time here, welcome. And we are in the middle of a declutter series. And so I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks that help keep my bag organized and clutter free and not so heavy. I know these bags can turn into a catch all and they can be a little crazy. So if you wanna see my tips and tricks just keep watching also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video also if you like videos like this please give us a thumbs up it lets me know the type of content that you like that being said let's take a peek inside my bag <laughs> is a Louis Vuitton Estella Noir, and I will leave a link down below to the site. I'm not sure if you can still get this bag, but I know they do sell this bag on like The Real Real and some other uh, pre-loved sites, so you can still get it. I love this bag because of the size. So I'm gonna kind of back up a little bit so you can see. It's a pretty good size bag, and it's pretty heavy empty because it is a Louis Vuitton and is nice quality leather. It also comes with a crossbody strap, and I'll be honest with you guys, I put this on for this video, but typically I don't use the crossbody strap because I'm so tall. You know it just is awkward on me it's not terrible but you can kind of see so usually I end up carrying it on my arm like this this is usually how I end up carrying it I'm gonna show you guys a little peek in uh, with it full so you can kind of get a feel for it so here it is full I don't like to fill it too full because since it does zip at the top I tend to only fill it to about right here and I don't want it to be too too heavy because it is a crossbody strap and if I fill it too heavy it tends to pull on my shoulder but I will say this is a leather bag and so if you've never purchased a Louis Vuitton bag if you're gonna spend the money maybe go into the store first so you can see it and feel it and touch it and then order um pre-loved if you if you choose to do that or if you don't want to spend the money which i totally get also there's tons of knockoffs so do you this purse organizational video does not have to be a louis vuitton purse you can buy a purse from target whatever makes you happy i do like investing in quality bags when i can because i feel like they're timeless they hold their value and it's just my thing i'm not really into super expensive clothes or shoes but i do love investing in good handbags because they always fit that's probably part of part why. <laughs> but I do keep things in zones. That's a big thing I preach on my channel. If you've been with us on this declutter series, you know that zones make everything more functional. It does have three built-in pockets. It's got two small ones here and then one big one on the other side. Now this, since it is kind of a velvety flappy material, I don't tend to stuff anything too big into those pockets because they're gonna cave to the middle and then it's gonna be hard to get stuff in and out. So in that big pocket, the only thing I have in there is a pen. Otherwise that pocket stays empty. The two side pockets have a one little eye drop thing some chapstick and then a pack of gum always on that side so I can quickly grab them when I'm driving and then on the inside I will show you the zones so I have sunglasses these are actually also Louis Vuitton I feel like such a bougie brat right now showing you guys all my fun stuff but I'll leave this link down below as well these are the men's glasses I love the little detailing here and here as you can see, it's so pretty. I do always have sunglasses in my bag. I keep them in this Ray-Bans case because Louis Vuitton charges you a million dollars for sunglasses and then they don't give you a case. What's that about? So there's a case. And then I'm gonna pull everything out of the inside. So I have one little purse organizer. I'm gonna walk you through this. Two little pouches in here and a wallet. And that's all that's inside. And then I love about these bags is they all have a key hook on the side. And so I can quickly undo the keys and just take maybe my wallet and keys in somewhere if I want. And then I'm not digging to the bottom of my purse for keys. So I love that. And then I also love that this is black on the inside. So it's gonna um, stay in really nice condition. I, I do constantly kind of vacuum it out and wipe it out because if I do ever wanna sell it, I want it to be in really good condition. <clears throat> now that I've taken everything out, I'm gonna walk you through this i'm not going to show you the wallet i mean just a typical zip around wallet if you want to see what's inside leave a comment below and i'll show you so let's go on to these two pouches this pouch is filled with things i'm grabbing you know fairly regularly i have a bottle of stevia in here which is a natural sweetener i love to put this in tea and coffee i do keep it in a ziploc bag just to have it protected this one's from trader joe's it's the organic liquid stevia drops and then i have some feminine products in here these are the lola brand i do like these i love that they don't have any like bleach or you know harsh ingredients or anything like that in there and then i keep a couple of drink packets in there and then also some thieves cough drops these are amazing they're kind of expensive but they're so worth it i love these when i travel not only do they make your throat feel awesome but they will boost your immune system so if you're around somebody that's sick you pop one of these and it'll help keep you from getting sick and then the other thing i have in there is this little mini this is from dillard's this is chanel chance 
It's just a little perfume. So that's all that's in this little zipper. This guy is kind of like my technology pouch. And in here I have a power bank to charge my phone if I'm not somewhere where they have a plug. I also have the charging cord that goes to that. And then my AirPods. So this is stuff, this is basically stuff that I like to have with me, but I don't necessarily have to have all the time. Now this is the main event here, guys. So this is a little tiny purse organizer I got, not tiny, but little purse organizer I got on Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. It was very inexpensive. You can even make it skinnier. It has a little zipper here that you can make it even more compact if you want which I probably could do because I don't have it stuffed super full cool. yeah, I'll do that there's it zipped you can see it's pretty small it has two outside pockets on one side and then it has a zip outside pocket here and then a middle area and in the middle area it has um, pockets inside too so it's just so awesome this is great if I want to switch bags I can quickly grab this throw it in a new bag on each outside pocket I have headphones and hand sanitizer these I'm I like to keep these on the outside because I'm constantly grabbing them and then I have a little mirror this is a little Chanel mirror I think I got free when I got sunglasses and then on the other outside pocket I keep tissues and a couple of like tried and true lip products. I have a, one gloss. This is Glossier. Um, this is in Red Rogue. I have my favorite lip pencil for purses. I am a big fan of the Kylie Jenner lip kits, but I don't like her lip liners because the lids don't stay on. So I don't like to keep them in my bag unless I absolutely have to. And so this is a Smashbox product. This is Always Sharp Lip Liner in Audition, which is like a nude. But I love it because the cap twists off. It doesn't just pop off and then you pop off. <laughs> And then you, you don't have to bring a sharpener because it's always sharp. And then it just twists back on. And then to put the liner up, you just twist the bottom. So I love that. And this is one of my favorite uh, MAC shades. This is 213. It's Modesty and it's one of their cream lipsticks. So it's got a tiny bit of shine. It's a really great nude. So that's in there along with some tissues. And now we're on to like the middle part of the bag. Inside the middle, there's two little outside pockets. You can see here or inside pockets that are attached. And in there I have this little container and this has little breath freshening drops in there. I have those in there. And then on the other side, I just have some more eye drops. I had LASIK eye surgery and so my eyes get really dry. So I always like to keep eye drops with me. And then the other little side built-in pocket here, that's where I keep some beauty products. I don't usually carry makeup with me because I usually put makeup on in the morning and then I don't mess with it anymore. Um, but in here I have some nail clippers, a little Nivea hand cream. I love this for like cuticles. A nail file that I cut in half so it would fit in there. A hair tie and then these little tweezer man tweezers. I got these at TJ Maxx. I am obsessed with them because we all know you get in the car. That's when you see the chin hairs. What's up with that? And then I got this little alcohol prep pack. And these are actually they're sold at like CVS and Walgreens and they're made for people to maybe clean off their skin before they're gonna give themselves a shot. What I like to use them for is to clean my earrings before I put them in. Cause if I'm gonna wear like cheapo earrings, they kind of irritate my ears. But if I clean them right before I put them in, then I don't have any problems with them. And also it's an alcohol wipe. So you can use it for a multitude of things. Now in the middle part, I have a lotion. This is Hello Beautiful from Bath and Body. I have some Clorox wipes. I don't use these a lot. I don't really love like the harshness of them. But if I'm going to a hotel, I always use these on the remotes, doorknobs. If I'm gonna be on the plane. I have a checkbook and then my friend got me this. It's so cute and this is a Louis Vuitton inspired wallet. I believe she got it on the Amazon but the reason I love it so much is because look at all these little accordion pockets. So I use this for gift cards, coupon, things like that. It'd also be a little great wallet if you don't have a lot of stuff to carry. I have a pencil and a pen. This is Vic Atlantis pen. It's one of my favorites and then this is a little uh, essential oils organizer. This is actually a doTERRA organizer with young living oils in it so I'm kind of like breaking the rules here. In here, I keep these little mini essential oils. I love these because I, you can use them for a million different reasons. If you guys want me to do a video on how I use essential oils, leave a comment below. I'm not trying to sell you essential oils. I do love them and I do swear by them and use them all the time. So these are just like staple oils that I could use for a multitude of things. I have a mini deodorant, not my favorite deodorant, but it's a great size for my purse. This is the Kari coconut oil deodorant. My favorite natural deodorant is native. If you guys haven't tried that, it's great. I have a little pill organizer. This is from the container store and it's awesome. I just love this. I've had it for so long and then in here i got this little organizer from tj maxx as well this is for it's supposed to be for headphones but what i keep in here is a charger for my uh, cell phone so i always have a charger in my purse so when i go on a trip if i forget to pack my charger which i do a lot i always have one also guys i want to show you this on this little purse organizer it does have this little key ring that kind of stretches so you could quick unlock your card or without having to take them out of your purse if you wanted so if you're not using this exact purse if you have a different bag this is still a great organizer and you can still use that feature and that's it guys that's everything inside my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I need you. I want you. You want to be here where all the cool kids are. The semi-cool kids. The organized.